Hello, hello, welcome to a new vlog. So, so far today, I've just been doing my typical routine, getting ready for the day, taking care of my fur babies. And all I've had today were some of these honey roasted almonds. They're so good. Oh, last night I watched the new episode of A Thousand Pound Sisters. And here's a little bit of my reaction to that. This is me, <laughs> I can't even talk. This is me when I watch A Thousand Pound Sisters, bawling my eyes out. I have my jacket on backwards because I'm cold, but <laughs> it's just so emotional. Ooh, I'm watching the new episode of the new season and I just, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh my God. Like the whole Tammy and Caleb story. It just does something to me. <sighs> Y'all, I want to keep watching it, but oh my god, if you guys have not seen it, please see it. Such a good show, and I just like, I'm so like attached to these people that I just can't even handle myself. Y'all, when I tell you I am obsessed with that show, I mean it. So my mom is trying to find an ugly sweater moment, and I found this one, Christmas Mood. Yeah, that's a little cutie right there. But I think the one that she wants to choose, which one is it? That one right there, which is actually kind of cute to be it. honest. It looks so cozy and comfy, love it. So I don't remember where I was, but it was a couple weeks ago. Someone was wearing this and I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. They're like, I got it from the Walmart. And I was like, oh, and now here I am with it in my hand. Oh, it's so freaking cute. Obviously a fanny pack <laughs> can't fit on your girl, but a lot of people are wearing them like, oh, it even shows it on here like that. So I don't know. Cause I already wear one like that. And this is just so freaking cute. Not gonna lie. I also really like this little mini backpack and the brand is Madden NYC. So, I don't know, I'm kind of digging it. I'm currently being in my mom's shopping cart. Yep. Why'd you take them? I'm your shopping cart. Okay. Hello, hello. So it is the next day. I'm actually going to my grandma's today. We're gonna play some cards and just talk. But I have something that's kind of like on my mind. Um, so in my last vlog or one of my last vlogs, you guys saw me with a vape so this is my delta haul so this is the uh delta i've never actually had this brand before but look at how cute this is and i think it shocked a lot of people and i think the reason why i was so nonchalant about showing that because i've oh god this is like even like crazy for me to admit out loud out loud and just goes to show that like i don't share everything online <laughs> that's very obvious but i've actually been vaping for God. i don't know why it feels weird to say this out loud online but um i smoked like all day every day while living in kentucky i've actually been vaping delta 8 since even before my ex i know a lot of people thought um feline introduced me no i was actually vaping while with becky and I'm only bringing that up just for timeline references. I did like the Delta 8 gummies. I did do those, but I would vape a lot of Delta 8. Maybe sometime down the line, I could tell you more about uh, some things that I've done <laughs> uh, or that I was doing. But yeah, that is a situation. So I guess I just like wasn't thinking that I hadn't told you guys that I vaped Delta 8, but a lot of people were shocked. Don't be shocked. I do go through moments where I do take a break because like vaping's not good for you no matter what the heck you're vaping, but it is a situation. It is something that I do. So now that it's out in the open, it is what it is. Um, but I only ever do it outside, never do it in my apartment. Hello, it is the next day. And I think I deserve an award for the worst vlogger on YouTube ever. I just like 
haven't been in it, haven't been filming. But I will be back to a more consistent schedule soon, I promise. Um, right now I'm just trying to like figure out my hair cause she's <laughs> not doing the greatest. I don't know if you guys can tell, which you probably can't because you guys didn't see it before. But last night I took these, I was having like a minty bee, I don't know. And I cut a lot of my hair. I mean, you could tell because the straight, like you can tell that I that I did it. But I probably cut like a good this much. So I did do that. Um, she feels healthier. I'm not wearing pants right now, so let's not. I just, I felt like she needed a trim. So yeah, I mean, she looks a little bit better. I could go up to like right here, but your girl's not doing that. So I'm actually just finishing up getting ready. Um, I am going to my mom's boyfriend's family's house. This isn't the greatest angle right now, but who cares? So I just got home. I did get a new Lego. I'm still working on the Pac-Man one, but I'm purposely going super slow because I didn't have another one to do afterwards. And now your girl has another one. This one won't take me long because it's only 688 pieces. I also have a little Amazon haul, just a quick one. So I needed more foundation and I literally couldn't find my foundation anywhere, which was so freaking weird. So I ordered from... Amazon. Last time I did that though, they gave me the wrong color. So let's see. Yes, 115 Ivory. I love the Dewy and Smooth Normal to Dry Fit Me by Maybelline. I promise. This is literally the best you'll ever get. And then here I have a box. Some of this might be Christmas gifts for my mom. I'm not sure. So I will not show that. Nope, this is for me. So if you guys don't know, my birthday is actually on the 27th of December. And that was my a nose ring piercing. Like that's what I got myself um, for my birthday. And for Christmas, I decided I'm just gonna get a couple little things. One of them is the Nicki Minaj perfume. I actually used to have this very, very long time ago. Um, I recently have ran out of like, I would say about five or six perfumes, like all within like the span of just like a month. Um, like my newest one I uh, used the last tiny spray of was my Gucci perfume. And I'm like, wow, okay. But look how cute this bottle is even. It's so cute and it smells so good. Like who is she? Beautiful. Oh my God. Gosh, that smells good. Then I have this bag here, but yep, that's a gift. So we're not gonna open that together. So I forgot to mention it and I forgot to show it, but every single Saturday at noon o'clock, literally clockwork, it happens every single Saturday at noon. This is what it sounds like here in the good old Oklahoma. So what that is, is it's a tornado, like alarm situation, siren. Um, and they make sure that it's constantly working. So they test it every single Saturday. And it's just like so obnoxious. I mean, at the beginning it was obnoxious. And now I'm just like, oh, it's just Saturday at noon. So yeah, figured I'd share that with you guys. Do you guys remember Snuggies? Because I sure in the heck do. And I kind of low-key wish I had one because lately... I'm just taking my jacket or like a sweater and just like wearing it backwards while I'm just like chilling at home and I love it. It makes me all like snuggled and warm and obviously I could totally like do that with a blanket but like you can't put your arms through a blanket so that's why I think I need a snuggie. Okay so I quickly want to talk about something um, if you guys remember when I went and got my nose pierced, I met a subscriber who is really good friends with the person that I've been talking to on Instagram who wants to like hang out and meet and stuff. So many people were like, oh my God, like you have a stalker. The situation is I never told anyone, like anyone I was getting my nose pierced, like not even my best friends. I wanted it to be like a surprise. So nobody knew. So that theory is like out the window. Like, let's calm down, folks. I firmly believe that coincidences can happen. And I also believe that the universe like 
does its own like magical things where it like puts people in your path or whatever it may be. Like I very much believe in the universe. I am that type of girly. I believe that things happen for a reason. There was no stalking involved. But I will say, which is something I do want to talk about soon, which I'm surprised I haven't yet. I did have a stalker in Kentucky and I know all of their information. Just saying. So if you're watching, hi, love you. I do want to make something very clear. I will never share their information, but I do know it because your girl is intuitive and she felt something. She felt the energy and it's just a whole story. It's a whole story time. Um, I will definitely give it to you guys. And I do like come the new year. I need to go back to like and every other day uploading. I need to film more. I need to stop worrying so much about what I'm filming. Like I need to go back to my roots in a certain aspect, not all aspects girlies, because I'm I'm changed. I, I very much like compared to the person like four years ago, yes, we still have <laughs> we still have the Lego bag here. I'm very different than who I used to be, but like I wanna go back to the roots of like I wanna film what I wanna film. And I feel like lately I have been filming what I feel like I'm supposed to film. Like my brain, like it's it works weird, okay? So don't ask, but I do just wanna get like better at uploading and I wanna film more. And like, I wanna get out of like this, it just has to be vlogs era because for some reason I feel like I just have to upload vlogs, but like I really don't have to, I could do all sorts of things. So it's definitely been on my mind and there will be a stalker story time because it's just like girly pop, like what? All right, you guys, so I am gonna end this vlog though. Um, I don't really know how the rest of like the years gonna go with like vlogging and like whatever, but I really, really do wanna try come January where all YouTubers disappear. Your girly pop is actually gonna probably upload more because I really wanna start off the new year with like a good YouTube grind, good energy, good thoughts. I wanna put good things out into the universe so I can receive them back. So anyways, I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.